Hi there and welcome back to another NJS instructional video. In this video I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel vent line in this steel chainsaw. So what is the purpose of the fuel vent line? Well the fuel vent line allows the release of air or gases which have been pressurised in the fuel tank. Now this can occur on a hot day or prolonged use of the chainsaw when the fuel and the fuel tank heat up. However it also allows ambient air to vent back in and avoid a vacuum pressure in the fuel tank and that can affect the performance or even starve the chainsaw of fuel. And that can happen when the fuel or the fuel tank cools down or when the fuel is actually being consumed during operation. Now I've opted to use a newer style vent line for this chainsaw and as you'll see the original one has quite a different design but the same function. Now to start we're just going to take off this cover. Here is the original fuel vent line. Obviously it's a different style, it's got the internal springs that can be adjusted with a little screwdriver. But it's also been leaking from where it actually interfaces with the fuel tank. So I've just temporarily put a cable tie until the new one arrived and I'll show you how we go about replacing that. Now I'm just simply going to remove this vent line and being broken it might just come off fairly straightforward. So this used to be a nice clear colour and you can see just over time that it's gone yellow and brittle. So here is the port where we'll install our vent line for the fuel tank and as you can see the new one is quite long like that so we'll just reduce it to size so it sits um, a little bit more snug and as a good measure I'll just um, wrap a little cable tie just around it over here on the outside um, just to help secure it in place. Once we've cut it down to size, I'm just going to feed it onto that port. Now to make it a little bit easier, I'm just going to remove that cable out of the way and then feed this on. Now as a safety precaution, I'm just going to use this cable tie and just wrap it around the bottom there, even though the vent line is quite snug and tight and won't come off. So now our vent line's installed, the cable tie as well. The final step is just to put the cover back on, so just like that, return it back into the off position, and hopefully that stops the fuel leaks as well. Um, that was coming out of the original. So I really hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell notification icon. Thanks for watching.